Hello everybody, it's me here Cameron and welcome to a video uh, which a few people actually asked for so I thought to myself why not make it. Today I'm going to be talking about how my degree is going uh, at the University of Nottingham. As you guys can tell by how I'm speaking, I'm very tired filming this video. What a fantastic time to film, I know. A lot of people have actually been curious to know like how my degree's been going. Uh, and obviously, I do want to talk about a few funny things that have happened at university, slash things that have annoyed me. Um, I don't know if you guys actually enjoy these types of videos. Uh, that's a weird thing with YouTube. Like, I don't know if people actually enjoy my videos anymore. Uh, I genuinely feel like the videos I'm making, not really many people are enjoying them. And I don't really think I've, like, changed negatively or anything. Like, me watching my own videos back... I think they're quite good videos, especially the one I uploaded yesterday, which completely tanked and didn't seem to get that much support. So just because of that, my mindset in terms of like, if people enjoy my videos or not, it is very skewed. Since I've not been making as many videos, it's affected my morale in a lot of ways. Uh, I've been much less happy not making YouTube videos, even though my YouTube channel has never been that successful. So if you don't know who I am, my name is Cameron. I am a, an alpha male and I am very attractive and charismatic. I'm the smartest man also on planet Earth. So if you don't know who I am, I am Einstein. Okay, do you guys understand? Now on a real note, uh, I, I study a degree in chemistry. Don't know why I'm doing the masters to be honest. Like I remember when I applied uh, to go to uni, uh, I wanted just to apply for a bachelor's degree in chemistry. Uh, but I read on the Nottingham website that if you apply for a masters and you don't get into the masters, they can degrade you, or well, not really degrade you, but they can give you a bachelor degree offer if you don't quite make the uh, A-level requirements for, um, you know, a master's. Uh, and I got into the master's, um, so I, I'm just doing that pretty much. Um, and I just wanted to talk quickly about how everything's been going. This video is going to be less comedic, it's going to be more, like, serious. Um, but yeah, I want to really start by saying that uni has been going quite good. In terms of the chemistry course itself i have not felt like i'm doing bad at the subject it's hard chemistry is a hard subject especially when you're doing it at degree level but i think that's quite obvious um but it's not so hard that i don't understand it uh something that i've noticed with myself is the fact that i don't get things first time at all so when i go to a lecture i'll normally write notes and i don't even know why i bother writing notes during the lecture because i never read them back or anything i should probably just sit there and not write anything because it just doesn't help me uh, but normally the first time i listen to a lecture or watch a lecture or live obviously i don't really understand everything that's happening in the lecture um i won't listen to the lecture properly like i'll have to process things in my mind and then what i do is i watch my lectures back and i reread uh, the notes and I also write my own notes and that's what benefits me and that actually uh, makes me understand the content a lot better. I know firstly people are going to be curious to know whether or not I feel like I'm confident with my degree so far like my performance. I think the performance in terms of like what level I'm at is a bit questionable because I don't know what grade I'm working at like I don't know what mark I'm working at to be honest you know I could sit here and I could go guys I get all the content because I feel like I kind of do and I could be confident about it, but realistically, I've not actually had a grade back. The only indication that I've had towards me doing well so far is tutorial work, which is where you just answer questions on a sheet of paper outside of lectures. It's not like governed or anything, like you can cheat if you want. Uh, but in terms of how many of them questions I get right, the mistakes that I make in these tutorials are not due to me not understanding the subject. Now also with tutorials, uh, we're putting groups, we're putting tutorial groups, and I feel like a lot of people are writing throughout the whole of the tutorial group because obviously the lecturer or teacher is going through the answers. People seem to be writing loads of notes, and I'm just there thinking to myself, I don't have anything to write. I kind of got that. I got that on my piece of paper. Like I literally said the answer in the work I did. So I feel like just because of that, I feel like I'm not falling behind. I feel like I can answer a lot of questions that this tutorial lecture will ask. I feel like I can also answer a lot of questions that are asked by, uh, you know, different tutorial teachers that I have, and that is a good sign for me. But of course, I don't know what definitive grade I'm working at. I don't know if I'm going for a first, a two, one, two, two. I don't even know if I'll goddamn pass, okay? But realistically, right now, taking things at uh, uh, baby steps, which I think is very important when you start a degree, 
I think I'm doing well. I think I'm managing things and I feel like right now I'm putting so much effort into just going through the content that I've already learned. Uh, going through past notes, rereading my notes, making proper notes on my lectures. I feel like I'm doing a very good job at that. I want to talk about something that I struggle with and that is maths. Now I'm not bad at maths. I never have been bad at maths. But the maths in chemistry is AIDS. It is so bad because the mathematical skills you need for a level well, chemistry are nothing in comparison to degree level chemistry. With degree level chemistry, you need to pretty much, you need to learn A level maths. That's, that's effectively it. And we're putting toolkit classes for maths uh, in which most people in the class haven't got like a good A level grade in maths. I feel like a lot of people in the group that I'm in, quite a few people have done A level maths, but they've only got C's and D's. So not amazing grades, but they've still gone through the content. Realistically though, a C at A level maths is much better than no A level math grade at all. And these people are grouped in the same group as what I'm in. And I, I didn't do A level maths. And I feel like, and I'm gonna shade my lecturer right now, he does a terrible job at teaching maths completely because he, all he seems to do is ask really, really tricky math questions, like multiple choice math questions, that the only people who will be able to understand them and be able to actually benefit from them are people who already know how to do the specific math subjects. So for example, today we did integration and um, differentiation, I can't even say the goddamn word. I've never even heard of them before. I've literally never done any of them before. And he's here asking everyone multiple choice questions that require you to know what integration and differentiation actually are. You need to know how to do them to answer these multiple choice questions. So I'm just sitting here in this lecture thinking to myself, uh, I can't actually answer these goddamn questions because I've literally not even touched these topics before. And the weird thing is, this is literally a subject, a classroom that's designed for people who have not done A-level maths. But it seems like so many people know exactly what to do. And I'm just sitting here like thinking to myself, like, how does everyone know how to do goddamn integration? It wasn't even in GCSE maths, even algebra, quadratics and stuff. I forgot how to do it, man. I have not done quadratics for like well over two years, almost three years probably. So the fact that all of a sudden, oh yeah, I'm now asked to do complicated quadratic equation solving. It's just a jump. And it's a jump that I don't like because I don't feel like I'm studying chemistry when it comes to the maths of it. So that's just how I see it and it's stressful. But then when I look at the actual notes online on the learning platform, the maths doesn't seem anywhere near as hard as that. But I will learn the maths. You know, I have plenty of time to learn it. And quite frankly, maths is something that I've neglected for so many years because I didn't do it at A-level. But it's funny because I find the chemistry easier than the maths which I think is ridiculous because the maths isn't even degree level, the chemistry is degree level. Something also that I noticed with my degree so far is I have this lecturer, uh, she's foreign, uh, she's really attractive, I'm really attracted to her, sorry Isha, but I want her. She's a 50 year old woman, she's, I, I probably shouldn't go into too much detail because I don't know, someone might redirect this video to her. Oopsie, I confessed my crush on camera, ah! You know, I'm not saying I want to do anything, I'm just saying that she is pretty thick and quite foreign and that's what I love for in girls. I like girls who are foreign and studied in a random country and they speak funny. They're, they're the girls I like, okay, okay. Uh, but yeah, with her lectures, something that I've noticed is people just talk over her. People uh, today, specifically, people were just complaining about how hard the lecture was and complaining about how they had no clue what the lecture was on about. And I was sitting there like, I understand the lecturer completely because I have gone out of my way to revise the previous topics that relate to the topic that we're learning today. And things like that make me feel like I'm actually doing well with my degree and that's something that I was scared of, to be quite frankly honest, because yeah, obviously the University of Nottingham is not the best uni in the country, but it's still pretty goddamn good and there are a lot of square heads. I probably shouldn't talk about this because I know how videos work. In the back of my head, I'll think to myself, oh, my channel's dead, no one watches my channel. And then all of a sudden, anything I say in my videos will literally instantly get shared to someone who I don't want to know about it. Actually, I don't care, but I've had a bit of an issue with, um, with uh, I don't know how to phrase this, 
Labs are quite good right now, but the thing is we're putting like groups and I'm putting this group with this uh, girl and she's also in my tutorial class. I don't want to be mean. It's probably going to come across as mean. She's not a bad person. She actually is a really nice person, but it's just awkward because I, I realized how bad I am at talking to girls. I couldn't even believe it. Now, I, I know that you guys may be out the loop. I am a married man. I am married to my wife, Esha. I love her so much. <laughs> what the f***? <laughs> She's going to be triggered when she watches this video. I, I, I feel like I've done you shit quite dirty in this video, to be fair. I've openly said that I have a crush on my 50-year-old lecturer who probably has cobwebs in her. Uh, and also, I have said that I um, am married to her, but I called her the wrong name. But we're going to cut that out of the video, aren't we, Cameron? Yes, we are. Uh, it's a bit awkward because I, I've never really been friends with a girl like I don't know if I'm friends with her I don't I don't know so it's just awkward me talking to her because I don't know how to talk to girls it's like with me it's zero or a hundred I put no effort in talking to people if anyone knows me in person I'm probably the the most annoying person to be with because with me I just talk about random stuff and I have no filter at all like I will literally talk about nothing and be offensive. I don't even know how that's possible. But I'll be doing a practical and the the head the technician will come up to me and be like, Oh, you've got too much. You've got too much stuff in your barrette. And I'll be there thinking to myself, okay, whatever. And then she'll walk off and I'll just say randomly under my breath, she's pretty fit. Like, that's just how I am. I just say random stuff because I find it funny. And the thing is me, I talk so goddamn much that I'm funny. That's how it works. Okay, if you just talk all the time, by chance, you will be funny because some of the things that you will say will be funny. I just can't talk to girls, man. I can't. Literally, every time I talk to a girl, all I think about is the 20 signs that they want you to get married to them. I heard that. One of the signs, I believe, is if they blink. If you're talking to a girl and she blinks, that means that she wants you. And I don't, I'm worried because every girl I talk to blinks. So it's just a bit out of my element because back at secondary school in sixth form, everyone hated me. All girls hated me because I, I, I guess I was a misogynistic um, because I believed women should have no rights or whatever, even though I didn't believe that. That's what people thought I believed. But now I have a clean slate. Uh, it seems like I'm just a player because I'm so hot. I, I don't know what it is. <laughs> what am I even saying? This is all satirical. I promise I don't think like this in general, but it is still a bit awkward. Um, like... For me, talking to girls, I don't know what it is, okay? It's not like I can't talk to them, I flipping can. I'm so worried that I'm gonna give them the wrong, the wrong impression. Like, I've only had one other friend who was a girl and she called the police on me. So, we're just gonna... We're gonna hope that doesn't happen again. <laughs> But anyway guys, again this video here, hope you guys enjoyed it, smash the like if you did, subscribe to the channel if you're new today. Uh, I just want to make videos that I want to make. There are going to be some weird ass videos coming up and no one's going to watch them. But hey, I'm going to enjoy making them and that's what matters. Thank you for watching, take care, I love everyone, uh, and that's it. By the way, by the way, you sure I love you as well. Uh, if I was mean to you in this video inadvertently, or however you say that word, it is because I am on drugs, okay?